things appear to have picked up. We were unbeaten in 12. And when I say unbeaten, we've won every game. We threw a bunch more rounds in the cup. And our new striker is an absolute joke. Hello, welcome back, episode 37 of Cadbury Now. We are in a pretty good place at the moment. League-wise, we're still not uh, still not up there, but we do have two games in hand. So if we win those, it will actually take us on equal points at the top. We are, as I said, on a 12-game win streak, although admittedly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of those have been cut games. So it's maybe not as favourable as we thought. While you're having a look at that, and just before we jump into it, if you could like or subscribe on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. And yeah, just show me your comments, what you're thinking, and also how good Jamie Soul is. He's got his second hat-trick for us now. The second one came by part of two penalties, but it's fine. And even this one, he would have had a hat-trick, but he missed the penalty. The big silly goose. We've got lower stuffed firstly in the league, and then we're playing Kings Lynn in the FA Cup first round proper. And I know we only played them last episode, but it's the FA Cup first round. you got to play it. We just have. Gives us a chance to get through to the second round, because, as I say, we've already played them in the league, and it wasn't too much of a challenge. And that then gets us just one game away from possibly facing one of the big boys. We're going into the game against Lower Stoft with Smith in goal, Bert Whistle, Joseph, Laparta, and McBride across the back four. McBride's one of our youngsters. I don't know if we've shown him. Um, looks pretty handy. I, I, I do this every time. Let me scoot myself over here. And then I'll show you McBride again so you can actually see his stats. Looks pretty handy. He's not fantastic, but a lot of his are nines, tens. So if they start shuffling themselves up to 11s, it'll look a hell of a lot more favourable. And he's only 17 and he's got a five star potential. So he'll do a job for us. We've got Sean Simmons in at right wing, who again is another one of our youngsters. More defensive winger, which I'm not too keen on, but we'll hopefully do a job in the game. Gilmore out on the left with Azaz and Reese at uh, centre mid. And then Street is supporting Seoul. The first highlight shows us having a free kick on the right-hand side. It's put in towards that back post area, but uh, I don't think any of our players actually challenge for it. Joseph and Azaz are out on the left-hand side. Azaz has gone and put the ball back to McBride. Back to Azaz. In the middle, Simmons has scored. Pretty handy. I'm pretty sure that's his debut. Might have to have a little check after the game. But we'll have a gander. A decent ball put across, eventually. And he was there just to scoop it into the bottom corner. Be ah, oh, gold is that a shocker there. I was going to say beautiful. It's not really. Bert whistle with the throne on the right-hand side. He's thrown it to Simmons. All the way in. Azaz. Ooh. Oh, oh dear. Oh, the goal is not having a good time. Shall I put myself back up here? There he is. He's... <laughs> he should have dealt with that header from Azaz. And he definitely should have dealt with the uh, the shot from Street. He was stood in the way. I don't know how he's managed that. But, more importantly, it's 2-0 to us. And if they carry on at that rate, they'll be the lowest team in the league. Let's see what I've done there. It says lowest. No, 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 fair enough. McBride with a throne on the left. It's gone back to him. Not Gilmore through. He's nodded it back to Street. Azaz out to McBride on the left hand side. Reese on the edge of the box fires just wide. I don't know why they always put the ball out on the wing and then just kick it back in. They never just put a ball in. I haven't got it to cross left often or something. Talking about. Oh, he's crossed it. <laughs> Simmons has got it on the edge of the area. Knocks it all the way back to Bert Whistle. He's going to run out to the wing. Put in a decent cross from deep. And sol has got his 13th of the season. Pretty handy. I thought Bert Whistle here was just going to like display what I was just moaning about. And then he puts in a cracking ball. Sol loses his two defenders and nods it into the corner. And then pulls out his guns and starts, <laughs> starts shooting people. <laughs> the celebration on this year is one of funny, man. Cracking ball. Nowhere near offside. Have a day off ref. We're going to slap them. Lower Stoft are currently sat 20th in the league, so they're not particularly very strong. It's nearly half time. 
and I'm feeling particularly buoyant. Just drop some praise on him. McBride's got a throw in on the left hand side. It's gone up back to Azaz. Passes it over to Reese, who's had a shot again, but just wide of the other post this time. Just past the hour mark. I think we'll have a look at making a substitution, especially with that Kingsling game in mind. We'll take Street off for Legenza. Can Soul drop back? Not particularly. Ooh, I'm conflicted with what to do with Legenza here. Make him a poacher. He can just go and play up alongside him. Uh, McBride isn't doing a lot, so we'll just take him off. We'll give Garrett some game time because he's been moaning that he's had none recently. And Azaz looks like he's about to pass out, so we'll bring on David Dickinson. Coming into the last 15 minutes now, they've got a throw in on their left hand side. We've closed them down. Brilliant ball in. Oh, and he's put that wide. <laughs> oh, that upset me. Oh, if I was his manager, I'd be fuming. He's done all the hard work, got in front of the man, beaten the goalie to the ball, and headed it wide. Peak's got it in the area for him. Oh, he's put that one in there. I'm a bit annoyed about that one. Got to be honest. Smith had a bit of a shocker. And there's no one marking down in as he's coming in. They're just kind of running, like, get in front of him. Get in front of him. No, okay, yep. Oh, and then just have a little hop. Why not? Last five minutes now coming in. Um, we are currently sat there, and I think this might have been one of our game in hand. Uh, we're currently pushing ourselves up into the playoffs. So we're doing pretty well. Simmons has got it. <laughs> Didn't know what that cross was. It's gone to down in above the managers, but he's uh, his last possession straight away. Reese has got it in the middle, puts it to Simmons, knocks it all the way over to Legenza. Brilliant shot. I think it was going wide anyway, but the goal is done fantastically to keep hold of it. It's been knocked forward to down in again, and he was he was offside. Joseph's going to take the uh, free kick for it. Where's he going to put that? Lumps it forward. Goal is run out. He's lumped that forward, and Bertwistle's headed it out of play. I don't know why that was a highlight, got to be honest. But we've got less than seven seconds of the game left. So unless you know, it's an actual capitulation from our team, I think we've won this. There we go. Happy days. It's 3-1 to us. We're going to move on now to the game against Kings Lynn in the FA Cup first round. And we'll see if we can get past them. Two episodes in a row. Two losses in a row for them. Who knows? What we have got is ourselves currently sat in fifth in the league. So we do still have two games in hand. But if we win them two, we'll go to second. Our team for the game against Kings Lynn. We have Smith in goal. Ainash, Joseph, Lapata, Rydell. Shaw and Gilmore outside of Azaz and Baxter in the middle. Um, and then Lloyd is actually going to be playing behind Sol. The first round. Teams are lining up. I feel quietly confident. I may regret saying that. And I may also regret not cutting this out. Throw in for Rydell on the left side. It's been cleared out, but uh, our defence have picked that up. Rydell's got it again. Puts it into Baxter, who did put it out to the right wing, but Shaw wasn't feeling wasn't feeling it. Uh, Azaz puts it back out to Shaw. Why is the gap between the edge of the box and the edge of the pitch so small? This pitch is so narrow. Hmm, that makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't understand why they've made it so narrow. Just, just why? It's half time. They've had one shot. By the looks of it, was nowhere near goal. We are currently sat on eleven and four, so we definitely haven't the better of the game. But what we haven't got is a goal. Free kick. Gilmore on the left side. It's just over the bar. So we're heading up towards the hour mark now. I think we'll have a look in a minute for any substitutions. We are replacing Lloyd and Gilmore. They're coming off for Street and Dickinson, respectively. We do still have the one substitution left, so I'm hoping that that uh, leaves us enough to corner for us. As Az puts it in, Laparta heads it just over. I would have expected more from him from that header, to be quite honest. 76th minute, there's a throw in for them on the left side. Aina's got the ball back straight away. Sol's put it back to Aina. Back to Azaz. And pack out onto the right side, even though the left side was completely open. But Ain has switched it. Dickinson with the header, and I believe he hit the top of the crossbar, but either way, it didn't go in. Less than a minute left of normal time now. It looks like it's going to extra time, and I, I don't understand how that's happened. We've had 25 shots, and we haven't scored. 
So we're into extra time now. So throwing for us on our right hand side. Soul has knocked it to Shaw. Baxter to Azaz. Back out to Aina. Dickinson and their defence has got on the end of it. So Baxter's still got that outside the area. Out to our left hand side. And a pretty, pretty poor pass in the middle. We have got that one more sub now, so I'll have a look at making that. So I'm gonna leave Azaz on. I'm gonna take Shaw off. There's no one else that we can really bring on for him, but I'll um, put Rydell out on that right hand side. We'll see what he can do out there. Into the second half of extra time now. I'm not going to go attack him because we're doing alright as it is on positive. It's not an issue that we're not getting enough chances. It's just an issue that we're not taking them. But Rydell's on that right side now closing someone down. A hopeful launch forward. But we've got possession which is the main thing. Aina knocks it forward. Hopeful. Back to him. Joseph. Azaz in the middle. Out on the left side? No, no, we're going on the right for some reason. Aina's going down there. Decent ball to the back post. Dickinson and a decent save by Carney again. I forgot he was their goalie. Maybe that's why we haven't scored in 30 shots. McBride, throw. Oh, Haugen's just knocked him down, but ref didn't care. Oh, it's a pen. It's a pen. It's a pen. Do you know who's taking it? Sol's taking it. Go on, lad. Do me good. He steps up. Bottom right, calling it. Mm, no, no, the referee. Referee, was he off his line? No, please, anything? Oh dear, that's not a good sign. We're up to an XG of nearly four now. Haven't scored. To Street, puts the ball in. Rydell, oh, his head's just over. This is not our game, is it? Dear. We'll just let Michael Jordan do it. I don't think it's the fellow from Space Jam. I wish it was. And we're just going to go for it. Uh, I'm going to tell them all that they are fantastic. This is your chance for heroes. Don't regret it. I've got the faith. And I'll just tell them all that I've got the faith in them. Um, who's the only one that's anxious? George. And he's not taken. So all the ones that are taken are either positive or little emotion, which I can deal with. I feel quietly confident. How has this game gone to penalties? If we don't win this, then I'll do nothing, to be quite honest. I'll be pretty miffed. But let's get into it. Ote steps up first for them. Go on, goalie. It's not what I wanted to say, is it? Sol, for his second penalty of the game. Could have scored the first one. Wouldn't have had to do this. Are you going to score this one? No, he's not. No, he's not. I think it's written in the cards, isn't it, really? As soon as we've had 30 shots and not converted any of them, and they'd had two. It's obvious what's going to happen in this shootout, but we'll play it through anyway. Azaz, where are you? Decent pen. It's 2-1 to them. Mitchell, come on, Smith, are you going to actually save one of these penalties? Go on, lad. No. No, he's not. He's not going to save it. Baxter. Steps up. And pretty timid, but it went in. So that's the thing that matters the most. Haugen steps up for them. Smith. Oh, it's gone in. Oh, they're so fortunate. Their first and fourth penalties both shouldn't have gone in. Fourth one, maybe not, because it hit the post. But it was fortunate to go in. And the first one, he just kicked it out the goalie while he was stood there. And he just palmed it into his net. Rydell, you need to score this to keep us in it. He's done so. Right, Smith, you need to save to keep us in, or they need to miss. Either way, it can't be another little green tick. Because otherwise, we're going out pretty, pretty embarrassingly. Denton is taking their pen. Goalie? Oh, he's not safety. So they're the stats of a game that we lost. That was the first game which we haven't scored in since the very first game of the season against Blythe Spartans when we didn't look anything like ourselves at the moment. So that is incredibly annoying considering the stats and especially so because I said that I was confident that we were going to win. So that was a mistake. Don't admit that you're confident that you're going to win. Just don't. Because even though you slap the game, you're still going to come away with the loss.
and two missed penalties from your main striker. Never good to see. We'll be back hopefully for the fourth round of the FA Trophy, which will be around here somewhere. Um, and then what we'll do, we'll squeeze in a league game on the ones either side. But if you have enjoyed that, give me a like, subscribe, click the bell. And thank you for your time. <laughs>